Building instructions for this and other alternate builds are available at underthebricks.com. Today on Will It Modular, we have the Friends Coffee Shop. No, not that one. Uh, let's try that again. Today on Will It Modular, it's the one with Central Perk. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. My name is Kevin and this show is called Will It Modular. And the point of this show is to take current sets that you can buy on store shelves, current Lego sets, and do an alternate build where I convert them into modular buildings like the ones that you see here. Each one of these was an alternate build of an existing Lego set. So my hope is you can buy those sets yourselves and then buy the instructions from me and build uh, this modular uh, building. And that way you get a little more value out of the Lego set you're buying. Kind of like the Creator 3-in-1 sets that come with three different sets of instructions. On this episode of Will It Modular, I'm gonna try something a little different. I'm gonna save the big reveal for the end and instead give you a walkthrough of the details with some close-up shots, kind of like they do on your favorite home improvement type shows. Save the big reveal for the end. So with that said, let's take a look at the first floor. So this alternate build is called Modular Central Perk. And as you can see from the first floor, I kept the coffee shop theme. So we still have the Central Perk window right up front. We've got nice coffee mugs for signage across the top above the red and white awning. Out front, you can see we've got Chandler sitting on a bench next to some flowers and Monica's here with him. And Gunther is out sweeping the front sidewalk. The sidewalk itself is a nice consistent tan with a gray curb. We've got a lamp post out front using one of the green lamp post pieces that came in this set, a garbage can, and on the side of the bench over here, we've actually got the picture of Joey doing the blue lipstick ad. Over here above the garbage can, we have a live tonight Phoebe buffet uh, with a little picture of a smelly cat down there on the bottom of the poster. Some great stickers with this set. Let's take a look at the interior details. So first of all, there's a back door, uh, so employees can enter and get behind the cash register. The cash register's here along with some counter space to fit a couple of mugs. And then the cappuccino machine I was able to build into the wall and keep that even though the space is much more constrained. We also have the Central Perk menu sign uh, on the wall, that was a really nice printed piece. And some wall art hanging up. Along the back wall, there's also a clip for Gunther to keep his broom put away. One final detail is the red hat hanging by the door on your way out. If you like this video so far, click like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's take a look at the second floor. So on the exterior of the second floor, we've got some flowers out here outside of a, a lovely little window with a little overhang. And we have what will be more clear once you see the third floor, this, this mysterious little uh, bracket piece here on the front. On the interior, we've got a table and a couple of chairs. We have the service sign from the original set. Uh, we also have what I would imagine is some sort of flag hanging on the wall above an umbrella stand. And then a flower pot, uh, which my daughter designed and wanted to add into the set. And there was just enough space to include it. That's all for the second floor. Let's take a look at the third floor. So the third floor is actually a studio where Phoebe can give music lessons so other people can learn how to play Smelly Cat. You can see she's advertising both guitar and piano, so maybe Ross is a teacher here part-time as well. One of the things I really like about the third floor is I was able to keep the same offset angled build that the uh, original set has uh, in the balcony. So the way these wedge plates come together is really nice and I use the same technique that you'll find in the original build of the set. We also have a door, of course, that leads inside from the balcony and in here we have a chair where the teacher can sit and a microphone for the student to sing and perform while they're having their music lesson. I also incorporated the red and white awning from the first floor to kind of tie all of the floors together. Let's take a look at the roof. Now with the roof, I wanted to do something a little bit different and kind of borrow from the Grand Emporium set, which features a billboard on the top. 
I imagine this to be a billboard advertising the show Friends. Now I get that that's a little confusing. How can the Friends live in a building where there's a billboard advertising a show that they're on? But just go with it. So we've got three of the friends sitting on the famous orange couch right here at the top on this billboard. And then we have some, you know, typical smokestack chimneys and some little uh, greebling and brickwork here to make it look like a nice roof of the building. So now it's time for the big reveal. I'm pleased to reveal modular central perk, the 12th Willet modular alternate build. I love the way this came together. I really like how it represents kind of the New York vibe of the original sitcom and kept a lot of the same elements and printed specialty pieces that came with the set. You can see uh, what that uh, mysterious support was on the second floor. No, it's not actually holding up the balcony, but it looks like it is. And it seemed a little reminiscent of some ironwork for a fire escape like you would see in New York City. The overall height of the building uh, isn't super tall, but with the billboard, it gives it a little added boost as I slide it over here next to Rex's space arcade. And Monica fell over. Let's move Monica out of the way for right now. Uh, you can get a feel for how it stacks up with some of the other sets. As with all of my modulars, there are connector holes on the side, so you can connect this to other modular buildings, either alternate builds of mine, ones of your own, or the actual creator expert modulars that LEGO releases. All the way around the back, you'll see we have walls on all four sides, including that little back door. There's a bit of a hodgepodge going on. A lot of the bricks for this set were actually area rugs in the original set, so we've got a lot of different colors happening back here but you don't see that once it's slid into your modular city. One other thing I always like to do is to show you how it compares to an official LEGO Creator Expert modular. This is the townhouse from the Pet Shop set, which is my typical comparison set. And you can see height-wise, they're almost identical. Uh, so we've got a nice sidewalk out the front with a nice reveal. Uh, the door is inset a little bit uh, by one stud just to give it some character. And like I said, I'm, I'm really pleased with the way this one came out. If you want to build this set yourself and you already have Friends Central Perk or you're planning on purchasing it, the instructions for this are available at underthebricks.com. Go there, click modular instructions, and you'll see where you can go to buy the instructions to build this modular yourself. Thank you for watching today. I've got a lot more of these in the works, so don't worry, there's plenty more Will It Modulars to come. Remember, build each other up, don't tear each other down. Now turn this off and go build something amazing. Happy building.